Well, good evening, New Life Church. Thank you for joining us again tonight for our a brief devotion for our online service, this last service of the year. And uh, I just want to say uh, just a special thank you to everyone who has reached out to us during uh, our time of uh, sickness and quarantine. Uh, today we are feeling uh, much better, and I'm just so thankful for such a supportive church family and and friends uh, from everywhere who have been so kind and gracious, not just with your thoughts, but bringing things by the house and just checking in on your preacher and his family, and uh, it is uh, much appreciated. Uh, we are looking forward to Sunday service, uh, January the 3rd. We are planning on having an on-campus service, and so make plans to join us at New Life for 9 o'clock and our 11 o'clock service, uh, January the 3rd, starting 2021 out uh, the way we should in the Lord's house uh, together. So that is still the plan right now. More information will be coming out uh, hopefully in the coming days uh, to make sure that everyone is aware of everything that we will be doing uh, as far as a ministry at New Life Church. Uh, continue to pray uh, for our leadership uh, as we continue to make decisions for our church and school in the coming days. Um, pray for our folks. We have a number of our people, uh, just as every area is experiencing right now, a number of our people who are quarantined and fighting the virus. And so our, our prayers are with you. We're lifting you up. And um, again, we know the Lord is going to, to show himself mighty uh, during this time for you. We also want to encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity to give. Uh, you have a few more days where you can still uh, make your last gifts to our ministry, and we pray that you'll be faithful to do that. Uh, one of the things that we fear, we feared a little bit when we went into quarantine uh, back in March and everyone went into uh, to online services was uh, the answer to this question, would God's people still give? And you were very faithful to give then, and I hope that as we finish up uh, 2020, even if it's online, I hope and pray that you will give to the Lord's work and be faithful to God. He's been so good to us. And uh, I want to finish this year as we reflect um, on 2020. I want to finish this year with um, <clears throat> a, a spirit of praise and reflection on what the Lord has done. Um, as I said to you on Sunday and uh, the previous midweek service, uh, we can't allow uh, this, the, these circumstances. We can't allow the things that have happened in 2020. We can't allow it to, to rob us of our joy. And sometimes what we have caught, I've caught myself doing is uh, tr just trying to find those things. What's one thing that I can hold on to that, that's going good? Or what's, what's the silver lining in, in all of this? And yet, if we are honest, everywhere we look, no matter how bad the day is, no matter how bad the month is, no matter how bad the year has been, no matter what's been taken from us, what's been robbed, what's blah, 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 no matter what's happened, and if, if we know the Lord, and, and I hope you do, if you know the Lord, if you're a child of God, there should be a flood of things that as you reflect on 2020, even though it has been the most unusual year of my life, uh, I know as I reflect on 2020, I see the hand of God. I do. I see the hand of God in it all. And some may ask, D did God do this? No, but I will say this. We serve a sovereign God who controls everything. And, and we serve a God who was not taken by surprise by any of this. This was all part of God's plan. And in knowing that, I have to take comfort that even in the midst of a year like 2020, God is still good. And it was so funny that, that it was just this morning as I was reading through the Psalms that uh, my, my attention was drawn to a particular verse in Psalm 65 and then the verse is verse 11. Psalm 65 verse 11. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says, Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths drop badness. Which is talking about God's blessings. If you were to continue to read, the Bible says, They drop into the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks, and the valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing. 
it's talking about how God, even in the midst, if you were to go to the beginning of that psalm, you would read a verse you know, where the psalmist in verse number three says, iniquities prevail against me. They were not going through uh, a great time. Um, that there were things that they were struggling with, that David was struggling with. And yet, even in the midst of that, David began to put his attention toward God began to put his attention toward all the areas that God had blessed. And then that verse, verse 11, man, it really stuck out to me that, that God crowned the year with his goodness. Initially, when we look back on 2020, we don't think the goodness of God. I mean, let's be honest. We look back on 2020, we think of all the, the bad things that happened, all the inconveniences that happened, all the troubles and trials that came. Uh, we think of all the things that we had to face and, and now the cause and effect of all of those things that we will have to face in days to come because of what happened in 2020. All the events that did not take place, all the family gatherings that did not take place, all the graduations that did not take place, all the, th all the things that were disturbed because of COVID-19, the coronavirus, a global pandemic, and so on. And yet, as I look back on 2020, I need the Holy Spirit of God to keep me disciplined enough to see that God still crowned this year with his goodness. He did. As I look back, there are so many things that I can see God did, and it was good. God did crown that area of my life that maybe I thought at one time was bad, but he crowned it with his goodness. Again, God did not allow 2020 to slip by without his special touch on it. No, God crowned even this year with his goodness. And so here's my challenge for you tonight. You have a homework assignment. Your homework assignment is to spend the next couple days, the last few days of, of the year 2020, and I want you to, to write down, I want you to pray through, meditate on, and then I want you to share over these next few days areas of your life where you know God crowned your year with his goodness. For us, uh, man, where, where does my list even begin? I would say when we were closed up in the house those early months, we spent so much time together as a family. And, and I look back now and see that that was the crowning of God's goodness. Um, as I look back on even some of the people in our church, some of you that are listening tonight, I've seen some growth in you. And I believe that growth happened because of COVID-19. That's God crowning this year with his goodness. Some of you came to Jesus this year. 2020 was the year of your salvation. And, and for some of you, it even came through some difficult circumstances. But as you reflect right now on 2020, oh, my friend, how God has crowned this year with his goodness he has. And so I want you to spend some time starting tonight. I want you to spend some time over the next few days. I want you to spend some time reflecting on God who has no doubt crowned this year with his goodness. I want you to pray with me and uh, let's ask God to allow us to finish this year strong for his glory. Father, thank you so much for the privilege just to, to be able to gather even online with your people. God, I pray that you would, Lord, so focus our hearts and minds on those areas that you have crowned with your goodness. Lord, help us to see the things you have done. Help us not to reflect just on those things that haven't been done or those things we wish had been done. Lord, you are sovereign. You are good. You are gracious. And Lord, we know that even in the year 2020, even in this year, God, you've crowned it with your goodness. So we praise you. We lift you up. We worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for being uh, here. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday morning with a nine o'clock service and 11 o'clock service. Please take advantage of your opportunities to give to the Lord and his work these last few days of 2020. And uh, we are excited about what God is going to do in the days ahead. We love you, New Life Church. We pray you have a great, great rest of the week. God bless.